Okay, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to make uh, chicken and dumplings. And actually, it's, I, I want to say it's chicken and biscuits, but <laughs> it's chicken and dumplings. All a dumpling to me is, the way I grew up, and I've had it other ways, and I really didn't care for it, was like a big doughy noodle. And that's not how I do it. I do it so it's like a biscuit inside, all flaky and good, like a biscuit would be. I mean, that, that, everybody grows up in a different part of the country and does it differently. And so I roasted this chicken last night, and I'll tell you what, it was fabulous. I did it in a uh, roasting bag. You know those bags? And I actually did it out of laziness for a minute. I was kind of, I was feeling, I don't want to have to clean up the pan. So I put it in one of those oven bags, and it came out so moist and juicy, just like a rotisserie chicken. Anyways, I, uh, this is a rosemary chicken. So my plan for it afterwards was to make chicken and dumplings or a chicken soup of some sort. So I'm taking all the fatty parts off that I don't want in my soup to leach into there. Um, this, uh, it smells really good right now. Uh, so I'm just getting all that, the fat and skin off that I can, okay? I don't really need it there, I don't mind, but I'm not gonna have time to skin this because we're having it tonight for dinner. So I'm gonna get that in the pot right there. I've got about two quarts of water in there right now and I'm going to uh, put, I've got another quart or almost a quart shy of about a three-fourths of a cup I guess of my homemade chicken stock and then so and it says below too this product has no added monosodium glutamate. Now Hopefully they didn't add that when they roasted the chicken, but this container is 32 ounces. It will make 6.25 gallons of chicken stock. So I thought, well, you know, it's worth it when, like tonight, I've got that, my own chicken stock in there, but there's two other quarts that uh, don't have any flavoring. And because I'm not cooking that chicken all day, I'm basically heating it through, cooking it for a little bit, then I'm going to bone it, add these vegetables. This is more of a prepper pantry meal. Um, I'm trying to really incorporate what I've got in my pantry into everything. I, I actually do it all the time. but um, So for two quarts, I believe it is going to be uh, two bottle caps and it looks like it has a line in there and everything so I'm going to add this it's thick so it's almost like the paste that we see uh, that I use and then I'll add two of those to the mixture and we'll taste it and see how it, how it looks I don't know that I really want to use my bottle cap anymore <laughs> That's probably going to waste. There we go. So, as I rinse my cap out, I would measure it out a little bit differently. But the other ingredients that are going to go into my soup for tonight are... I've diced up about five carrots, small carrots, uh, three small zucchini. I've got some mushrooms that I dehydrated, some onions that I dehydrated, some peas back here. I've got my homemade garlic powder, celery seed. I don't have any fresh celery, so I've got dehydrated celery. I'm going to put that in now because it does take a while to rehydrate. And so I'm going to get all this on, season it, and then I'll bring you back when I'm making the um, dumplings, and you can see dumplings my way. I've, I've done the other way, and I, I like them too, but we really like that flaky biscuit in there, fluffy biscuit thing, and you know when they fall apart and they... Okay, you guys, 
Sorry, I thought I'd better bring you back and let you know what all is in here. I put, I've got my mushrooms, my carrots. I, I started putting my chicken in and I thought, well, you know, that's not really a very good instructional video or tutorial if they don't get to see the finished product. So I took my chicken out after it simmered in this um, for long enough that it was just falling apart. It's hard to handle if it falls apart. So I already have about a cup and a half and um, this is a whole chicken minus a leg and a thigh and a little piece of breast meat. So it's a big pot of soup. And it already has the intense rosemary flavor because that's what I roasted it with. Um, I've got carrots, dehydrated celery, fresh zucchini. This could all come out. I've got dehydrated zucchini and stuff, but I happen to have fresh, so I want to use what I have fresh. Um, this could all come out of food storage. And so even if, let's say, you had your own chickens and you butchered one, the rest of it could come out of food storage. And that's really what this is all about, is being a little more self-sustaining, um, trying to figure out how to manage your lifestyle and take care of yourself, like our parents and our grandparents did. I, I, I don't quite get why, why everybody um, has gotten to the point where they depend on somebody else for their food source. It's kind of scary. So. Um, in fact, uh, a friend is coming over and she said, well, I've got to go get some food somewhere. And I was like, what do you mean, get some food? Are you going grocery shopping? She's like, no, I need to eat and I, I need to go get some food. <laughs> so nobody plans even their meals anymore. So I just, I hope this inspires you to at least make a big old pot of soup once in a while. And I'm going to make those biscuits here in a bit. And, um... Do drop biscuits, which will end up to be what I call dumplings. So it'll be my version of chicken and dumplings. All right, YouTube, I'll be back when I'm ready to do that. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh, um, I had my beautiful daughter show up to show me her little baby belly and pick up a gift for the baby and. We just had a great time, and so I didn't have the opportunity to show you how I make biscuits, which you guys have seen this before. If not, go back and watch one of the videos. I do have videos on how I do that. Same deal, and I didn't add any extra special flavorings, but I use them as drop biscuits. So I'm going to grab a little bowl, and I'm going to taste this for you. I sent hum some home with her, and I'm, you know, it's just... It was really special because this is one of her favorite meals. So um, I sent a big thing of it home for her and her honey to have. And I'm going to grab a bowl and we're going to have some. And so the biscuits, I mean, I just make a basic biscuit recipe when I'm doing this. Now, if I had not skimmed chicken fat off of this and everything, I probably would not use the same exact recipe because this does have shortening in it. And so I've got one of my drop dumplings in there and oh, can you believe that? That looks amazing. Okay, and this little drop dumpling, if you cut into it, it's just like a biscuit inside. It's so yummy and so I've got my vegetables I'm going to have to get over here <laughs> it's pretty funny and then I have to figure out where the camera is okay there you are um, I have to taste a little bit of the dumpling and some of the broth and chicken mmm Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, that is so good. You know what? I don't know who couldn't love this. Chicken and dumpling, no matter how you do it, whether it's a big noodle or these drop biscuits, it's delicious. And so, let me have one more bite. Mmm. <laughs> I cannot tell 
you how good this is. It's so good. So I hope that this inspires you. I hope that you try to maybe make your own chicken and dumplings, make your own soups. It doesn't really matter what you make. If you actually step outside your box once in a while and make something that you haven't made in a while or something that somebody else makes. Try a new recipe. It's all to inspire you to do something else. It's not to inspire to you to stay inside your box. So anyway, hope it helps and I'll see you next time. YouTube, God bless.